Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So in this video what we're going to be doing is checking out the top Android applications of March 2017. Now I've covered a few that I discovered on my LG G4 and many people have nudged me a lot in the comments to make more of these Android videos. So let's dive into some of the most important applications that I found both on the topics of habit tracking and also mindfulness. So the first one of the Zen focused apps on Android is Moodcast. Now the idea of this application is essentially to track your mood. You enter your sort of journal entry with a little comment and a mood. Essentially what happens is over a few months you get a mood prediction and it's quite a neat way of being able to keep track of how you feel. Now once you get statistics you are able to then analyze how your mood is and also a prediction of future moods. Now this is a pretty cool application and something a lot of people should consider. Now moving on to a journal application, Journey was one of the ones I selected and one of the best ones I found. You can add other types of media to it which make it even more multimedia rich but essentially it works as a diary. It's also got a dashboard and a calendar to showcase some of the entries you've done in the past. This is a great way of capturing all of the information you have across your day and also just expressing some of your thoughts. Now moving on to sort of zoning out, we're talking about Tide here and this is an application that has been recommended to me by a lot of you guys. People have said that Tide for Android is one of the best ways to stay focused in terms of a timer but also great for meditation. Now you have a timer which you can set to any time, you can go to the settings and change it but it will set to 25 minutes with a 5 minute break. Now you can listen to any type of music from white noise to cafe to forest uh, which is really strong actually and really looks great. So this is perfect for staying focused and keeping relaxed. Moving on to the other journaling diary that I mentioned this is very simple and if you're looking for something that is even cleaner than journey then this is your option you can add images you can track your steps on something like google fit and it has a very simple design now i've seen some of these applications before this works well uh, but doesn't do as good of a job in terms of multimedia rich to journey but i do recommend it however for those looking for a good journey Source. Moving on to those habit tracking applications, Habit Dots is the most simple of the selection. Now, you've basically got the ability to create your habits, uh, whatever they be. You can essentially track them uh, and tick them off uh, or add a dot in them and essentially it will track it on a calendar. Now the calendar that comes up is quite rich and looks really minimalist which is great but it is very simple, very, if you're looking for something dead simple, very impressive, it does the job. Now moving on to Habit Bull, this is something that I used a couple of years ago on Android when I was using it as my daily driver. Now the nice thing about Habit Bull is if you're going into detail you can actually choose a habit that they give you selection to so you can actually be very specific about your habit. They have some categories which allow you to sort of get going. But the real magic in Habit Bull is the tracking. So once you've successfully completed one, over time you start building that up and essentially it will give you a score and a data breakdown. Now this is really nice and it's something that the next application does very well. Loops is a very similar one to Habit Bull and essentially gives that ability to add in any habits and also track them, but it will also give you some statistics, view layouts. It allows you to view your entries and also has a really strong widget for the dashboard of your home screen, which is quite nice because you can actually view things uh, from a glance. Now there's plenty of other applications like Seven Week and other habits tracking apps but whenever I switch over to Android for like half a day or a morning I'm jumping on these apps. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed these Android recommendations let me know in the comments whether you've managed to play around with these as I'd really love to hear your thoughts but for now thank you very much make sure to subscribe have a great week keep productive and I'll see you guys very very soon cheers.